Okay, so hey guys, it's Quinston and today we are going to talk about how to find an element in an array using linear search. Now linear search is a very simple algorithm. It's a one by one algorithm which goes through your entire array and finds the position that you want. Okay, for example, suppose you have an array, you have 20, 1, 3, 5, 2, 77, 32, 67, 23, 21. If you have these numbers in an array and you want to go out and find the position of the key, which is three. What position is three placed inside the array? And you would look at it, eyeball it, and realize that it's at the third position. But hey, you don't want to eyeball it. If you have like 3,000 numbers, how are you going to do it? You got to write an algorithm. You got to write a program to actually go out and do it for you automatically. Nobody wants to do it on their own. So the algorithm that we're going to use is called the linear search. So what is the linear search? The linear search algorithm is basically a very simple algorithm. It goes one by one throughout the entire array, one after another, just cycling through all these numbers and basically picks out, picks out the position that you need by comparing it with the key. Now the key is three, which means I want to find three inside this particular array. Now I also need the length. Now this is C++, so I don't have an automatic function right now to give me the length of my array. So I'm using this technique over here called size of the entire particular array divided by the size of one one you know element inside the array that will give me the length of that particular array because that's how math works it's math come on size divided by the size of one that gives you all of the you know complex integers to give you the entire length complex integers what, what does that even mean <laughs> i don't know <laughs> So um, so how do you how do you get the position? Now, if you see closely, I have written a, a function. A function when it takes in three things. It takes in the key. The key is basically the position of the element that I want to find inside the array. It takes in my array itself. I call the array search space because I want it to be fancy, you know. It's kind of fancy to call it search space, you know. It's, it's how it works, man. Then I have length. Now, length is basically going to be the number of elements that are inside here. The length is uh, 10, by the way. It's not, in, in this case, it's 10. Yeah. So what's going to happen is if my, um, so it's going to call this function and basically this function is going to go out and, and do some stuff, which we're going to cover. And it's going to return something called an integer. It's going to return an integer, right? It's an int. It's going to return an integer. And the integer is going to be stored inside position. Now, if I find, okay, if I find the number, I'm going to place that number, the, the index of that number in position. But if that the number, if the number does not exist inside the array, there is no index which is going to be returned. So I'm going to return minus one, as you see over here, return minus one. I'm going to return minus one if I don't find the number in that particular array. And if my position is not equal to minus one, which means it's equal to one, I got the number, right? So I'm basically going to print out that, hey, I got the number. It's at position plus one. But but why did I say position plus one? Because because the positions start from zero. So this index is going to be zero, one, two, three, four, five. And now if I get like element at position zero hey wait a second i can't just write zero after write zero plus one because it's at the first location so zero plus one is one similarly one plus one is two so i want to say plus one because i want it to be english i don't want it to be computer get next if i get the if i don't get the element inside the array i'm basically going to say the key is not present in the program and and that's about it so let's talk about get position so what does get position do get position takes three things it takes the key the search space and the length now i'm going to use a for loop now a for loop is best used in cases in which you want to iterate over something you want to cycle through a list you want to cycle through an array you want to go over a string whatsoever so all of these things are perfectly handled by using a for loop and that's what we're gonna do over here if I int i equal to zero i is less than length i plus plus I'm going to go over the array I'm gonna check if search space of i is equal to equal to key what is search space of i search space of i will give you the current current element inside your array which you are cycling through the first so if i equal to zero it will give you a search space of zero which is 20 if i equal to three it will give you search space of three which is five and that's how it works if those two are equal it means you have found what you were looking for right if these two are equal it means the key is equal to whatever you wanted to find you wanted to find a number you found it now what you need to do is basically return i return
return it, right? You found the value which you want, which you were searching for, and now you have to return it. In which case, you return i, and that's how you get the position over here. But let's say that number doesn't exist inside the entire array. Let's say it doesn't exist. Then what you do is you return minus one because if it doesn't exist, this this entire function, this entire part will never be called because this value will never be equal to this value. And that's how, my friends, you basically execute a linear search algorithm. And that's about it. Uh, the code will be in the description as always. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed it. Share the video if you want somebody to see it. And I hope you do. And uh, subscribe to the channel because I put out these videos every single day, I think. Sometimes every day, but sometimes maybe skipping a day. But thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video.